Hello everyone, uh, it's Prat from Ratko Tarot and uh, in this whole video you are about to hear the forecast in terms of love and career as well uh, for your star sign uh, for the week 7th to 13th of September 2020. As always, if you are interested in a private reading with me, uh, you can go to my website and purchase a service uh, from there. The site can be found in the description down below and as well um, as tarot is about a, a knowledge and uh, you're interested into the knowledge and you want to get it from me uh, there are eight tarot classes available at the website as well currently for the upcoming week uh, the tarot class for the major arcana is going to be on a flash sale reduced cost with a 30 percent uh, dropping it from 150 to a hundred and ten dollars so if you are interested into that message me on my facebook page and i'm going to provide you with a link regarding the flash sale that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show all right so we do have a scorpio sun moon and as well a uh, rising on our hands and uh, the first thing that we're going to have a look at for us guys scorpio that is going to be our a love and relationship <clears throat> excuse me love and relationship experience uh for the next week and uh, just give me a second to shuffle and jumping right into it right so the first card we go in terms of a love and relationship that is going to be the uh, empress uh, followed by the seven of cups uh, which is going to be the second one uh, then we do have the page of cups and uh, the last one here is going to be the eight of a pentacles mm, so the thing that that's uh, reading mainly affects those that are having a rather long history with somebody it doesn't matter if you are uh, separated currently or a not the question is, is that these energies of the reading does not favor those that doesn't have any person of interest or doesn't have uh, any intention or rather like any interaction with love on the first place. Someone like me, for example. So what the reading is uh, here all about, it is that um, now throughout this upcoming week, uh, we as Scorpio, we have to think for... Uh, if you will, the bigger the bigger picture rather than being stuck into the current situation. Um, the way that I can get my points across here, uh, for example, is that uh, we need to uh, address can we be with the person we are having interest with in the long run or are we going to be stuck with some kind of a shenanigan that we got mad at a couple of days ago? Okay, and so we have to stop, if you can, or if we can, stop thinking of that shenanigan and actually um, be more attentive to the uh, to the overview itself. So pretty much here throughout the week, we need to find, um, are we really emotionally attached? Or if what is going on with our love life is merely just a game. And if it is just a game, uh, it's far immature if you will to play to play the game according to the cards and we just need to pretty much sever that interaction because it does lead nowhere so that is a question for you Scorpio to think about is your love interest your relationship or your marriage something that you do have an emotional attachment to or it is just a game of your ego uh, for example, or of your stubbornness, etc., etc., and, and based on what what answer you're gonna find for yourself, it is how the uh, week it uh, how the week is gonna end up for you uh, in terms of love and relationship. Because the week uh, that ends with the Eight of Pentacles, it does point that uh, whatever insight, uh, whatever conclusion we are to. Uh, we are to reach by the end of the week in regards to our love life or in regards to our relationship is to be the conclusion that we are going to put our efforts behind um, a conscientious efforts as well that are uh, uh, those efforts are also going to be pretty meticulous and that will be if you will our, uh, our long-term agenda 
Now, uh, another thing that I want to address from this reading is the Seven of Cups into the second position of the spread. And um, with this card, um, how, how do I express it? Well, this card pretty much points that uh, we may actually repeat some old mistakes once again. Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind uh, is that we may associate ourselves or involve ourselves with the same type of individual that broke our heart previously uh, back in the days. So we have to be very careful um, how you give ourselves to somebody, if we are to give ourselves to somebody, or how we are predisposing ourselves uh, into a current marriage or into a, a current relationship. Now, the thing is, is that this isn't going to come uh, with the snap of our fingers. I mean, that realization or that conclusion. Uh, that's why we do have the Empress. Uh, and the Empress pretty much urges us to take a bit of a break. Have a couple of days on our own. Uh, so we can make a well, well found and balanced judgment and as well decision. Uh, how we are continue on with our love life. Uh, be, may that be our relationship, our marriage or our love life in general if we are completely single and what kind of uh, issues we can address and what kind of realignments we can also uh, we can also initiate uh, initiate there but one is certain here is that a uh, change is looming on the horizon in term of um, in term of our love life so i guess that's a good thing for those that are single especially those that are not very emotional scorpio because believe it or not there are such like me uh, and it's, uh, it's kind of a sign that uh, the time that our emotions are to be unlocked or set into stir uh, is coming. Okay? And that's why we have to make ourselves prepare. And I mean, we need to make ourselves prepare th through, I'm sorry, a, um, taking some time on our own to reflect on, on how we tackle with our love life in general. Right, so that was uh, about our love experience. Now let's have a look what kind of a uh, career experience we're going to have throughout the upcoming week. Right, so the first card in term of a career is going to be the Eight of Swords, uh, followed by the Nine of Cups. Uh, moving next, we do have the uh, the High Priestess. I'm sorry, and the last one is going to be the Queen of uh, the Queen of Pentacles. Mm, just give me a second. So, career-wise, the message is pretty clear. Um, so how do I address that? You know those kind of a, a moments in, situ in situations where things are not going exactly as planned and one feels like there is nothing more for them into the current situation, giving your current job or your current business or your current career, if you will, and they kind of feel the need to, to change things around. That is exactly what is not happening here into the upcoming week. Now, what the, what the reading here shows it is that we do have some kind of a self-imposed limitations. I do for sure know that I do have such. Now, everybody has them, you know. The, the question is how willing you are to break through that self-imposed limitations. Um, you may limiting yourself of acquiring of not acquiring another qualification. You may limiting yourself only into one narrative. You may limiting yourself only into one company. Uh, the limitations could be uh, could be numerous. Uh, the thing it is that uh, we uh, that that reading here is just a, a if you will a sign or like a warning that we haven't gave up a hundred percent of ourselves yet. And uh, until we don't do that, we don't have the right to say that things cannot work out. 
and uh, according to the reading by the end of uh, by the end of the week itself we are to discover a potentials that were uh, undiscovered by that time uh, or unexplored if you will uh, and we may start we should that being said start working on a those uh, those potentials which could be new services into your private business, which could be new projects that you can undertake into your current job and etc, etc, or new uh, horizons for you to find a job, so on and so forth. Now, the thing with the Queen of Pentacles it is that we are to become pretty absorbed and s the, the word is not stuck. I, I, I guess absorbed is enough. So pretty absorbed, absorbed with uh, those uh, with those undertakings and with those enterprises and that may place a toll on uh, our relationship life and as we saw into the previous reading our relationship life it's not exactly well it's it's good but it is not exactly in a uh, in a move moving forward so <clears throat> And again, as with the relationship, we need to take our time to make a uh, well-found and balanced decision. Maybe for some of us, that is going to be the decision. Is, is it right now better to give priority to our job or to our relationship instead? But uh, I would say that um, we have not nearly scratched the surface of how much better we can be and to the things we're doing. And we need to keep up exploring and diving into the framework of uh, our current uh, our current narrative of a career. Now, as though, now those that are a jobless, for what it seems that the idea they do have, for what kind of a job they want to work, it's the correct idea. It's just the methods they are trying to acquire it. Uh, they are not exactly the most efficient ones. Uh, that being said, by the end of the week, they are to realign their methods or you are to realign your methods and find yourself, how can I say, a niche, how you can acquire the job you are aiming for. So that being said, Scorpio, that was our a, a weekly general uh, love and career reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.